Hello everyone and welcome to another tester work video. Today we are going to talk about the different severities that you can select when reporting a bug on the tester work bug tracker. First things first, let's understand what exactly a severity is. The severity of the bug report is the impact of that particular issue that you found on the software under testing. And because the software needs a user to interact with it in order for it to be complete, the severity of an issue can also be defined as the impact the issue has on the user's ability to interact with the app and its features. When trying to understand the severity of the issue that you've encountered, you must ask yourself how much of an impact does this issue have on the application and on my ability to interact with it. Let's start with the highest impact an issue can have on a piece of software, that is the critical issue. A defect that completely blocks testing of the product or a feature is a critical defect. So if you are trying to reach the messaging section of a social media app, but you are prevented from doing so by an error that is not caused by your device's settings or any external party, you've got yourself a critical issue. Another example of a critical defect is a situation where a feature that needs testing is completely missing from the app. For any reason, if the application crashes or it becomes unusable under normal user flows, that is considered a critical severity issue. Please note that if the user needs to perform very specific actions in order to be able to reproduce the issue, it will not be classified as critical. The critical issues are the ones which are easily reproducible by performing normal user behavior in the app that you are testing. Next up, the high severity issues. Any feature implemented that is not meeting its requirements and behaves differently than expected can be classified under high severity. High defects are the issues where an important feature of the app isn't performing as expected. So it's important to have the test specification document with you while testing so that you are aware of what the expected behaviors are for different features. It's of course it's easier for test case executions where you already have the expected results right next to the steps to reproduce in the uh, test case flows. So in high defects for example when testing an email service provider app such as Gmail and you are using the undo function right after sending an email but the email is received by your recipient anyways then you've got yourself a high severity issue because your recipient should not have received that email since you've just used the undo function. Let's move on to medium. So the difference between a high and a medium issue only consists in the impact on the user's ability to interact with the app and its features. So naturally a high severity issue has more of an impact on your ability to interact with the app than a medium severity issue does. The medium issue can be defined as an implemented feature that is not meeting its requirements and behaves differently than expected, but the impact of the issue is negligible to some extent. This type of defect results in minimal loss of functionality. Also adding to the medium severity are some high issues that require very specific steps to reproduce and high issues that affect less important features. So it's important to note that when choosing between a high and a medium severity, you need to think of the impact. If your issue is related to a non-essential feature of the app or is not a hundred percent reproducible then it's not a high issue it's a medium one let's move on to low severity a low severity bug occurs when there is almost no impact on the functionality but it is still a valid defect that should be corrected 
Examples of this could include spelling mistakes in error messages that are printed to the user. So we are pretty much done with the severities that you can find in the bug tracker, but as an extra, I'm also going to go through what is a usability issue, how to correctly spot whether your defect is a functional one or a usability one, and I'll also give some tips and tricks uh, for handling the different severities. So let's talk about usability. A usability issue is a defect in the experience the user has while interacting with the app without affecting the user's ability to use the features of the app. So what's important to note is in contrast with the functional side of things that we talked about so far, usability refers to the user's experience and whether it is inconvenient for the user to perform certain actions or to see the app in a certain way. A usability problem occurs when all the functionalities of the app work as intended, but the user story can have a more fluid flow if some things would change. Examples of this could include having more specific information when an error message is triggered or changing the background color in order for the app or the website to be more appealing in a design sense, or rearranging the options from a menu so that the user can easily select the more common options. Please note that most of the projects inside Testerwork do not support usability testing. So while I am speaking about usability issues, it's important that you focus on functionality and the severities that we've talked about so far, unless instructed otherwise. So as a tip that I can give you is when you are about to report an issue in the tester work tracker, always ask yourself how much of an impact does this issue have on the application and on my ability to interact with the application or its features. This way you are going to correctly identify what severity you should mark your bug as. Severities are also influenced by the level of probability one bug can be reproduced in a live environment by a normal user. So as an example here, Consider that there is a situation where the user finds a mistake in the naming of the product itself or some problem with the UI documentation. A tester would normally open a minor or cosmetic defect and it may be very easy to fix that issue for the developer, but when it comes to the product look and feel or the user experience, the impact of that issue, which was of course a simple one for the tester or a minor one, the impact can be very serious for the development team because obviously they want the product to be named correctly so that the user experience is as they intend it to be. Um, so in this case, a low or medium severity issue can go up to a high severity due to the importance of that spelling mistake in the name of the app. Now, of course, this is uh, sort of an extra for you to know, but as far as you are concerned while testing, you should still uh, classify issues that are cosmetic as low or medium, depending on where the issue is and how much of an impact it has on your experience in the app. A second example could be that there will be certain conditions under which a particular defect occurs, which may be an extremely rare or impossible to hit in the customer environment. So even though functionality wise, this may seem like a high severity defect to a tester, considering that it's a rare issue and it, it probably has a high cost to fix it, this would be classified as a low severity by the development team. So in this case, a critical bug, such as the app uh, will crash when you try to log in, will be set as high or even medium if the reproduction steps are exotic, let's say, so you have a lot of repetitive actions that you need to take or just moving further than the normal user uh, flows. Um, or maybe the reproducibility of the bug itself is very low 
So in this case, a critical bug can go to high or medium. So yeah, that's that's been it for the severities that you will find in the tester work uh, bug tracker. We also have a dedicated um, tester work learning center page that pretty much explains what I've talked about in this video. And I encourage you to, to visit that page and read it before submitting a bug report. And also please give us feedback and ask any questions you have around bug reports and severities. And we are looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.